Hey everybody, it's GliderCat. It's time to play. We are pushing forward here on campaign four. And as a painful reminder, we did get conquered our first attempt and it happened pretty quick, but we've got a line of defense. We've got some uh, three guard checks here, kind of holding the line. Our enemy does not seem to have military researched yet. They're not taking out our towers. We are fastly or, or urgently trying to climb that research tree and beat them to the military research. Uh, last episode, we placed down a couple uh, fishing huts and we expanded our territory a little bit. We've got more of that going. Let's just double check here on the workshop that's just getting started on mining one. That's going to allow us to uh, pop down a mine for our underground iron deposit. And our clay deposit here, if we want to, I'm not sure we need clay just yet. We'll find out when we do, uh, it will become readily apparent. And we have an underground deposit of coal here. We've also got some surface coal here. Um, but before we can even do any of that, we need to, uh, we need to research this mining level one. So let's go ahead and hit play and let the game move forward. We also dropped a watchtower here towards the end of the last episode just to open up this coal. We'll use that to fuel our blast furnace. In fact, maybe we end up putting the blast furnace over here. We could, if we want, we could actually get that construction started, I think. Let's just take a look. We'll let the game run here. But we do know we're going to need this blast furnace. So me And it's big. Why don't we just... See if we can't plop this guy in here. Let's do it. Let's get it going. And let's uh, extend the road here. And I just, I don't know if there's a way to see where the enemy's at with their progress. This watchtower hopefully will clear out this area. And did I take out our lumberjack? I must have. Would be nice to get these trees cleared. Let's see. And we got to get these trees cleared. Where is our lumberjack? Did I actually take that guy out? I think I may have taken him out. No, here he is right here. All right. That's right. Yeah, we set this territory for him to clear out all these trees. So, and he's doing his job, but he's going to need power. It looks like he's running a little low. We've got six residences, but we popped down a seventh here. And it looks like we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the seven are cooking or we're cooking. We'll know when we have a surplus of power because we've got a tiny little storage here for eight uh, level one power cells. Down here, we're going to do our cider mill. Let's see if we can build that. We did complete a research and it did open up some stuff for us. Our orchard, that's the first thing we need. So let's go ahead and plop. Let's plop this guy down. Plop him down right up next to the lumberjack. There's our orchard. Now we need to set the tiles. Let's see what this is complaining about. Okay, you haven't planted apple trees. All right, and these tiles are big, which is a little bit of a drag. But I can put them far away. Like there's some space here if I wanted to. Let's just start plopping these guys down. One, I need a lot too, right? Ten, one, two, three. Uh, let's see. We're gonna be able to clear that tree. So, so once the once we open up this territory and we clear this tree, maybe we we change where these fields are. Looks like can I actually get one back here? All right, I'm gonna do it. This is all kind of wasted space anyway. How many more I need? I have three more. One and two. Can I drop another one back here? Doesn't look like it. I will eventually get a third one right there. Uh, for the time being, let's just nestle it up against this tree. Take up the least amount of space possible. All right, that's all good. Now, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm just looking at our road situation, which isn't great. Uh, the way it's laid out. Let's go ahead and put our cider mill. Looks like we can build that cider press, I should say. And can I just connect him with a path? This guy's kind of chunky. Maybe back here. How about right here with a path? 
seems somewhat space efficient. And that, boy, that's going to be super important for our level uh, two power cells. We're going to need a surface mine here for this coal. We've got our guard check in place, so let's do it. I'm going to actually pause because I just want to play with an abundance of caution on this one. I don't want to start it. Out. I don't want to have to start over and suffer two losses on this. So we're going to play it a little cautious. So if you're playing it, you can go full on and amp up the speed to four times. But for Glider Cat, after having suffered a painful defeat, I'm going to take it a little easy here and uh, stack the odds in my favor. All right. Let's see. I was thinking about, okay, let's get our surface mine down for our coal deposit. That will be fuel for our blast furnace, which is being built. Let's do that. Where was that surface mine? Boom. Boom. And I think this guy can do the coal. Let's flip him around. Let's see. Occupied by the watchtower. I guess that's about as good as I can do. Boom. And let's drop a path down for him. Uh, that's a road. Should I do a path? I have a feeling a path is a little faster. I could be wrong. Let's do that. Lumberjack way back. Where is he? Right here. We'll clear out the rest of these trees. I probably mentioned that a couple times already. We're going to need a food source. So I'm thinking about our level two residences. This is where we're going to want our level two power being produced is in this area as well. We got our orchard set up that took up less space than I thought. So I'm happy about that. We've got room. We've got tons of room over here. Uh, if we need more power, we could set up another orchard and another cider press out this way as well. Uh, we'll come back to this up here. looks like that last tree got cleared so we can put uh, two more fish huts. Up in this region, I just noticed that. Sorry, got distracted. Let's think about, yeah, we're gonna need food, I said, and we're also gonna need water down this way to feed our level two residences. So let's take a look at a well. Can we squeeze a well in here anywhere? I think it's gonna be, ooh, it looks like it's almost possible, doesn't it? Is that gonna work? Oh yeah, that's cool. That that helps us uh, quite a bit that helps us quite a bit by being able to nestle that in there all right now we need to think about our residences i am going to let's see the road is a little sketchy here where i can put posts let's see if i can get a couple of residences tucked in here i can definitely do one there I got to think about food for these guys as well. How about one? Nope. Let's do level two. So let's bulldoze this and go straight to level two rather than upgrading. So back to the build menu. Residence. I'll make sure I've got number two selected. Four planks and four stone for each of these guys. They don't take up any more space than the level ones. So that's good. There's two. Probably want to get more, right? How about three? And can I do a fourth one right here? Can't see. I think the trees are in the way. Oh, that works. And then I can actually use a road through there. All right. We'll see. Boy, I hope I'm not building too much too fast. But let's do it. Let's put our road through here. That's all good. We can even connect this path just in case that that helps uh, our road network. So we've got four level two houses. Let me just double check. and make sure I did these level twos. Can I tell? Can I tell? I can't tell just says residence. So I'm going to assume these are the level twos. Maybe you can see it on the screen. I don't see where it says what level it is. 
should actually be an enhancement request unless I'm missing it. I'm going to assume those are level twos. We'll check back when once it's built. So that's level two power. The only thing these guys are missing, they've got, they've got water. Once that well gets built, they've got alcohol coming in from the cider press. Once that all gets constructed, the last thing they're missing is a food source. So I could actually, we've got so much room back here. Once this clears out, I could do another, uh, another sheep farm. I may do that. What is that guy? He doesn't take much power, does he? Let's see. The sheep farm doesn't take any power. Like I don't see any batteries or anything laying around. We do have plenty of food sitting here, but uh, I think that's going to be most useful for these, all of these level one residences we've got. We've got seven, so we should be doing better up there. I'm on level one power, but we're just consuming a lot. We did delete one lumberjack hut. Let's see. Resources to recover. There are no more resources to recover. Let's go ahead and destroy that building. Yep. And we talked about moving these pastures over, over this way to free up this land. But right now, I don't see an urgent need to do that. We seem to have plenty of food. Let's just take a look at these residences and see what they're lacking. That one's got a food and water, food, two waters, food and water. This guy's got nothing or no, he's got a food and he's got two foods. It doesn't have a water. I can't get a well in here. I wish I could, I could put one down here or maybe squeeze one right here. That's our surface mine. These guys aren't really connected up. So if I do put water here, I don't think it would fit just yet. It's got to come in this one direction. I can't really get to these kitchens very easily. We've got one way up there. That's not, that's not a great placement for water. Actually down here. Isn't bad, right? It seems like we should have a well down here. Let's do that. It might uh, reduce congestion. Let's see how we can do it. We can wedge this guy in cleverly. That'll work. I'm going to take that spot right there. Drop in this path. I do want to get that brick laying research done too, because uh, I just have a feeling we're going to have road congestion. So these guys, it makes sense. They have a ton of food. They've got two farms and the sheep farm. We need to do something for food down here. I think I'm going to wait till let's wait till this guard shack is staffed. We've got a guy coming right now. Actually, let's go ahead and hit play but before we do, <laughs> sorry, let's go ahead and drop some fish huts here before we forget. That's another thing we can do while we're paused and stack the food odds in our favor. So let's do our little trick here. This guy. Oops, kind of misclick there. Let's go ahead and uh, flip, boom, the footprint and see if I can just, can I weasel one in here? Maybe I can't. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I can't. I thought we were going to get two, but it doesn't look like this first, this row over to the right of the fish is reachable. Yeah, that's as far as I can come back and it says it's occupied by a rock. So I can't use that layer. I don't believe there's any clever way. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's just, I got one more idea here. If I flip again, no, nope, that's not going to work either. Well, this guy, the best I could do is tuck this guy as far out as I can. Just right there. He can't go any further. I don't think we can terraform the land. That one would go there. And then there's a thought, maybe this guy here, check that out. So creative placement of those fish huts has, uh, has helped us. Let's do this. Helped us get two in there. I thought it would be a little odd that there wouldn't be a way given how they've got those two rows of fish. So let's do that and let's go path this guy up. Okay. And those don't take a bunch, do they? Three logs. That's not much. So we could even do a food storage here. So we should have tons of food 
And uh yeah, we should be we should be good. Even once this clears out, what we could do if we wanted to reduce traffic, we could kind of rezone the area and move these uh residences over this way, out this way, near the fish, near the well, I guess this farm is way the heck over here. Anyway, that's that. We have that going. Let's move on. What else we got to do? We've got food. We've got water. What else do we need for our iron production? We need this guard bot. So we were going to hit play and let that guard bot take his post. That will open up a bunch of land here. Now we can think about dropping another pasture. I'm going to hit pause. So another sheep farm, I mean, and that would provide food to these four level two residences that we've got being built. So that makes sense to me. And I've got road here I can extend. Let's see. How do we want to do it? Let's see. Let's see. This road... Let me see if I can extend that. Can I? No, I'm not going to be able to. Just trying to think of a clever way to get some road over there. Let's look at our sheep farm. And see what we can do. We could just put him here. I'm just a little concerned about how I'm going to build this road out. I guess I can come out this way. So let's put our sheep farm right up on the main road near the residences. And then let's start plopping down those pastures. What I call pasture. Yeah, pastures. I actually got that one right. All right, here we go. We'll just wrap these guys around here. Zoop. And once these trees disappear, uh, we may be able to do this a little more efficiently. 34, so they won't let us place here, it looks like. Incorrect terrain type. Drop another row this way. Does that get us? And I don't know that these need to be real close. All right, there's 50. So we should be good for iron. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we should be good for iron. We've got food. We've got alcohol. We've got water. Might need more water, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and hit play and let this move forward. Take another quick look at our workshop. We haven't given him much time to work because we've been paused a lot. Uh, he's waiting on planks. How is our woodcutter, our uh, sawmill doing? Looks like we've got plenty of logs. You can see we're getting road congestion. We are getting road congestion. I think after this guy, after we research the mining, I think we may have to detour and do the, uh, the cobbled roads. I just I think that's going to help speed things up. Otherwise, I think we're going to end up getting gridlock and we are going to be in a bad place. So military, we've got armor. We could be doing this too. Boy, this is tough. We are going to need to level up our workshop. What does that take? Let's see. Okay, territory gains, stone deposit. That's all fine. Let's take a look at what it takes to upgrade this guy. It just takes construction one, eight planks and four stone. So I think what we're going to do on the research, I'm thinking, let him finish what he's doing, which is the mining one. That's going to allow us to place our shaft mines. Then we go for the transportation buff, which is the uh, road layer guy. Then we upgrade the workshop itself. And then we look at the military technology stuff. That's what I'm thinking. There goes our pastures. So we've got sheep being produced now. We're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. I mean, this looks, I, I kind of like how this is uh, laying out. Okay, we've exposed our underground deposit of coal. We don't need that urgently, but let's go put one more guard shack out. This may be the last one we build on this campaign, unless we uh, start expanding into the enemy's territory, which would be nice, which would be very, very, very nice. Let's drop one more guard tower here and that'll make sure that we can get to that. Well, do we even need it? We may not need that. I'm going to change my mind here and just, I'm going to wait. 
once this mining research gets completed, we'll see if we can put a shaft mine here on the coal. If so, we're good to go. We don't need any more, uh, we don't need any more guard checks down there. All right. He's waiting on planks. It's possible we'll need, I don't know. I do not want, do not want to destroy the workshop. Let me just, I'm not sure what I clicked to make it think I wanted that, but I do not want to destroy the workshop. That is critical. Our sawmill's going 100%. It's got plenty of logs stored up. We could think about dropping another sawmill to get planks. We've got lots of logs. Might make sense. Let's uh, let's think about that because we use a lot of planks in our research. Where is the sawmill? Do I have room for one over this way? I do. We're going to, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We can always move them later or get rid of them. I think we'll make use of it. I think that will pay off. I think it may speed up our research. Because we have plenty of logs. How are we doing on batteries? Do we ever store any? <laughs> Maybe we stored one and then immediately takes it out. So level one power, which I tend to call batteries because that's what they look like to me, is still struggling surprisingly because we have a bunch of residences going and they all seem to have plenty of food and water so yeah these guys are, are doing their thing for the most part yeah they're doing their thing these residences are still getting built these are our level twos they can't really they're not going to be able to do much until our cider mill cider press gets going these are still being constructed. Our well got put up, so that's good. They may even start delivering the water. Yeah, look, they're already delivering water and food to these level two residences. So once they are constructed, they will be up and running. Our surface mine has connectivity, so he's good. This little section of road isn't really doing anything. And our lumberjack is still collecting logs. We've got lots of trees up here. Hopefully that's keeping these lumberjacks all busy. They're just waiting on that level one power. Still have our lander producing power. I think that makes sense. We've got foresters doing their thing. Hopefully they're keeping enough logs up to keep all these guys busy. Once we get this uh, sawmill up, that should speed up our research. Because it looks like he's waiting on planks. You can see he needs 20. We had some in here and they are all gone. We have a tiny bit of storage here for eight of them. We talked about maybe putting another storage thing here. Well, look at all these fish. So we got tons of food. Tons of food. So when we need to, we can delete out this pasture if we need space or this uh, vegetable farm. We've got more food than we need. But right now our main shortage is planks and we have, we've taken some action on that. We've got a sawmill here. He's just waiting on stone. We do have a second stone mine here, so hopefully, but he's waiting on power. Here it comes. Whoops, that's coal. Sorry, uh, the stone mine's down here. He's waiting on power as well. And hopefully there's a battery on the way for him. I don't see it though. We have some space down here. We could put down more food and Put some level one power here just to make it so these guys get their power faster without such a long trip. But let's wait till some of this stuff gets built. We got a lot here being constructed. We have tons of food up, up this way. I mean, I guess I could put, I could put another residence or two over here. I mean, these roads aren't real busy. They could be carrying batteries right now. Level one power's down. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Let's see. These guys are all churning out power. Um, I'm inclined to do it. Let's see if I can drop a well over here. I don't think it can hurt. I don't know what the downside is. I'm probably missing some negative aspect of doing this, but. So if I put a well there, and maybe I can drop a residence over here. I mean, just a level one. 
I mean, that's just a little bit more batteries. We can start processing some of this food that we're not using. I can't get any more residences over here. This land is not really usable. I could try. Let's see if I flip. Nope, I tried. And that's just not going to do it. Oh, uh, we can put one here. I think I'm going to. So hopefully I'm not overdoing it. But uh, we're short on power, and, and we might as well produce it. We do have land. Land's not an issue right now. So we're doing pretty good on that. Logs seem like they're we're in good shape there. We need to get this sawmill built. We're waiting on stone. We have a little bit of a shortage on stone. He's got a couple level one power cells here. We've got stone way down here, but he does not have the power he needs. I think what I'm going to do is drop a level one kitchen. Uh, I always say kitchen residence down this way. Let's do it as well. Just to get a little bit of power close by power production close by, maybe even two. We've got the land. And I think we got plenty of food down this way. And I might even be able to squeeze a well in this corner. So hopefully I'm not chewing up all our building resource unnecessarily here, all our materials. But these don't cost much. Well is literally one log. All right, hopefully this is good. I just don't know. You know, I don't know where we are in comparison to our adversary here to the north. But I think we're at a good stopping point. We've got some buildings underway. We're trying to shore up our plank production, mainly to speed up our research. We've got a couple things, a few things in mind for the research. That's going. We've got tons of food, tons and tons of food. Uh, so hopefully we can get more power cells created. Anyway, yeah, let's wrap this one here, and we will pick it up in the next episode. Uh, for now, this is GliderCat saying thank you so much for sticking with me in this campaign. We've got a little bit of drama. Again, we're trying to conquer our adversary, which kicked our butt in the last round. So for now, it's GliderCat signing off saying I will see you in the next episode.